Hi, it's Scott with Supreme Growers. We're at the Grow Lab today doing soil inoculation tests. Now we've got four different types of soil here and it's the perfect opportunity to go over the differences between something like miracle Grow soil, something like a Sunshine Number no. 4, and something like Cocoa or Light Warrior. So let's get started. Up top here we have Light Warrior. Light Warrior is a Fox Farm product. It's a better product, meaning that, uh, let's just say a premium product as to where you'll pay uh, a decent price for it. Uh, I'd say probably $10, $12 a bag for that. You do get an elevated quality. If we take a look at some of this, it's a very light mix and it does not have a lot of compost in there. It has a lot of peat, as you can see. So there's a lot of peat in there and a lot of perlite. It's gonna be really good for starting seeds. The worst thing you can do for a seed is load it up with a really heavy, and it's particularly a nutrient-rich mix. That's gonna hurt the seed. The seed actually has all the nutrients it needs for the first 14, 21 days in its seed. So just let it go. Don't put a lot of nutrient in there. Uh, this right here, is a perfect seed starting mix. It's light, it's peat based, and it has some perlite in it. So this is Light Warrior. Now let's compare that with miracle Grow soil. This is the kind of soil you can buy at Walmart or Home Depot. Uh, this they're calling the uh, premium soil. When I look at it, I do see a lot of hunks of things. Looks like it's a lot of pieces of composted wood. Uh, wood, if it's not fully composted, will actually take nutrient from the soil. It'll actually need nutrient to compost. So I'm not really excited to see all that composted matter. Uh, for indoor gardening, I'm not sure that I would like this uh, miracle Grow. Uh, I think I'd stick with uh, a more boutique brand, something you would buy at an indoor garden center or a better garden center. So here's our miracle Grow. We'll put this down here. I'll we'll take our Light Warrior, I'll put it down here as well. And then let me show you the final two that we have. And you can see they're as different as night and day, both excellent quality mixes. This is Cocoa Core right here. This is Canna Cocoa. It's a high quality RHP cocoa. There you go. There's the bag of it right there. You can only find this stuff at high quality garden centers. Uh, when you look for cocoa, cocoa core is actually when they peel the coconut, the dust or the pith that comes off the coconut, they actually collect that and the air to moisture ratio inside that material is absolutely perfect. Perfect for growing plants. You can grow seeds in this stuff, you can germinate and you can go all the way to full harvest in pure cocoa core. The one characteristic of cocoa core you want to look for or the one identifying marker is the RHP seal. If you can, I don't know if I can find it on here, but I'm sure it's on there. RHP, those three initials, that lets you know that the cocoa has been washed. It's not going to be loaded up with salts. It's going to be a steady, stable media that you can trust. So this is cocoa core. We'll take a look right here. A little bit hairy, but of course there's no composted material in there whatsoever. So it makes a really great growing media and as much water as you put on there, it's going to evacuate that water and still hold a tremendous amount of air. This is good for many, many uh, months. Actually, you can use it for years, grow something in there long term. Cocoa Core is an excellent media. Now the other kind of the industry standard for high end medias is Sunshine Number no. 4. Let me swap these out so I can show you a little bit better. Sunshine Number no. 4 is a commercial mix. You'll find that green, better greenhouse growers will use this. It's a high quality peat, perlite, and vermiculite mix. So it's mostly peat. I'll show you the, the tray of it there. Excellent commercial. This is a true commercial quality product. You can see there's plenty of perlite in it. The peat is a good quality stable media, but it does break down and it does compact. The reason why I like Cocoa Core over peat is that after time, the cocoa core still holds its air. It still holds little pockets of air in the media as to where the peat tends to break down and compact. 
So I prefer cocoa core base materials. Uh, if I'm doing high end, high quality indoor growing, I'll use specifically 100% cocoa. If I'm doing uh, maybe some outdoor gardening, uh, I certainly would use sunshine number four. Uh, a lot of times you can find a new trend is finding cocoa core incorporated into soils. So you'll find a soil that looks like this with the perlite in there, uh, maybe some peat in there as well, and then it'll have cocoa core, maybe 20, 25 percent. That's also something good to look for. So what we're going to do with these four uh, medias right here, these four soil types, is we're going to test them with all our products, with some of our competitors' products, in 32 different combinations, 32 different variables. We're going to be using a sweet myco tea, the kelp blast, the soil blast and the mycoblast. We're also going to be infusing a couple different kinds of kelp, specifically the Supreme Grower Super Kelp. We're seeing outstanding results with that and I'm really excited to document this and go head to head with our competitors uh, with all these different medias and we're really going to find the most effective way to pop small plants. So stay tuned. This is Scott from Supreme Growers in the Grow Lab saying garden safe and garden smart.